sleepy Hanoi, uh, contrary to the perception that people may have of a city of bicycles and lovely trees, actually there's chaos here. This is a result of the incredible growth that's happened in Vietnam, and it's a wonderful thing. But along with it has come this unbelievable uh, scene of motorbikes, cars, and trucks. The downside of it is that people didn't have appropriate helmets to wear initially. Uh, they have not had training to how to ride motorbikes. And along with that, there's been a terrible consequence of, of death and injury. We have worked with the government very closely for eight years now to get them to change the law and make helmets mandatory. This was achieved on December 15th, where we now have, as you can see, almost 100% compliance of adults. So sánh 6 tháng đầu năm 2007 là chưa đội mũ bảo hiểm và 6 tháng đầu năm 2008 sau khi đội mũ bảo hiểm thì số lượng phẫu thuật trong chấn thương sọ não do tai nạn giao thông đã giảm đi 32% và số lượng tử vong trước khi đội mũ bảo hiểm là 7 và số lượng tử vong sau khi đội mũ bảo hiểm là một trong cùng kỳ một thời gian. Như vậy chúng ta so sánh trước khi đội mũ bảo hiểm và sau khi đội mũ bảo hiểm thì con số này có một cái một cái ấn tượng rất là mạnh về hiệu quả đội mũ bảo hiểm trong uh, lưu thông. Well, we had a very big victory seeing all those people now wearing helmets. But the problem now is that children don't wear helmets. There is a loophole in the law that makes parents believe that their children don't need to wear helmets because they are not being fined. And uh, on the other hand, there have been a lot of wrong information in the media as well, which makes people afraid um, that a helmet might hurt the neck of a child. So for that reason, unfortunately, all those children out here on the streets are still unprotected on their motorbikes. AIP Foundation is changing that through uh, continuing with our Helmets for Kids program by donating helmets to primary school children but also traffic safety education, helmet wearing education and furthermore with our public awareness campaign we especially address this issue to young parents to make them understand why is it so important that they have to protect their children. The comprehensive effort that you see here today and the success that we have enjoyed has absolutely been a result of the type of support we've received from many philanthropic organizations such as Atlantic Philanthropies who've supported our work in changing legislation, in developing helmet standards, developing curriculums for primary school children, and we've already proven that we've saved hundreds of lives. Unfortunately, some people think that the war is over because you see so many people wearing helmets that it's mission accomplished. It's not. We've got a long way to go. We estimate that at least 12 children a day are still dying, um, dozens more suffering head injury. So we have a lot of work to do with public awareness. We still have a lot of work to do trying to modify government policy. And we still have a long, long way to go to get helmets on kids.